Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to connect to Intune using Graph API and run some PowerShell commands to get data out of Intune. So when I will connect to Graph API, I will use my credentials, but sometime we need to create a script to get data out of Intune, uh, which might be running at a scheduled interval. So we cannot enter our credentials in that script or every time it runs, it will prompt us for the credentials. So we cannot do that. In that case, we give that script or app access to pull data from Intune without using user credentials. So we'll see that in our next video, how to create a script which gets data out of Intune using a secret key or app permission. In this video, I will keep it simple and show you how to connect to Intune and get data out of it. First of all, we will have to install Intune graph module on the machine. So I have opened the PowerShell as an admin on my machine and I'm going to run this command install dash module dash name and the name is microsoft.graph.intune. So the installation is started. I will pause the video and come back once it's done. The installation is completed now. I will connect to MS Graph. So this is the command to connect connect dash ms graph uh, dash admin constant and now we'll get the prompt to admin my username and password i'll do that and uh, resume the video so while signing in it's uh, asking me to provide permission for the app so i will click on accept and now i am connected to my tenant now we'll see what all commands are available in our Intune module, so I will do get dash command dot graph dot. So now we will see all the PowerShell commands which we can use. So the list is complete, and there are hundreds of uh, PowerShell commands which you can go through. Just to show you an example, if you want to list all the devices in your Intune, so you can do the command get dash in tune managed device so it will show you the devices which are in tune managed in my case i have only one mobile phone which it's showing now we were only seeing one device listed there because in my lab environment i have only one device but if i run the same command in my production environment where i have many devices registered in intune i get this output so I see the O data count, which is thousand. So I have around uh, five thousand devices. So it does not display all of them. In order to see all those devices, we will have to run this command. So this is the command I will run. So it's the same one: get dash intune manage device. Then I will pipe it to get ms graph all pages. So when I ran this command, I got. Uh, a list of all the devices device names and all the properties associated with it but I'm not going to display that uh, in this video but just to show you that the list was huge I uh, will show you the OS for those devices so you could see that the list is huge so I'm only showing you the property of OS so that is how you will run this command and you can get list of all the devices in your production environment just to show you the number of devices i am going to put the output in a variable called list and i will show you the count then so the number of devices is uh, 5000 plus so in this video we saw how to connect to intune using graph api and uh, how to get a list of powershell commands how to get the data out of Intune. So if the data is huge, you will not see the list. So how to display that using this command guest dash MS graph all pages. So in our next video, we will see how to connect to Intune using a script without using our user credentials and perform some operations. I hope you like this video and please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.